Hello South Africa. Today is today, April 25, 2023 and here are the top six stories that have made headlines for today. Three arrested with a stolen Nile crocodile. On April 24, three suspects aged between 20 and 35 are expected to face charges before the clerk's dope magistrate's court for being in possession of a stolen Nile crocodile. The suspects were arrested on April 20 by Stillfontein Stock Theft and Endangered Species STES, unit members. They acted on a tip-off that a crocodile was stolen from a farm in Hattabee's Fontaine. Gerhard Ackerman found guilty of child pornography amongst many charges. Alleged child sex abuse ring kingpin Gerhard Ackerman appeared at the Gauteng High Court in Johannesburg on Monday, April 24. According to News 24, the court found Ackerman guilty of child pornography, benefiting from human trafficking and 253 charges. The charges include rape, sexual exploitation of children, human trafficking, sexual grooming, and possession of child pornography. 4. Including two three-year-olds killed by suspected food poisoning. Free State Police are investigating two separate inquest dockets after four people, including two three-year-olds, were killed by suspected food poisoning. The first incident involving a family of three happened on April 11, and the second one happened on April 22 and involves a three-year-old. According to South African Police Service, SAPS, Spokesperson in the Free State, Lt. Colonel Tobo Covain, on Tuesday, April 11, 2023, police received a complaint from Dr. J.S. Maroka Hospital at about 046. A patrol vehicle was dispatched to attend, and upon arrival, the nurses pointed out three people who arrived at the hospital for treatment and had already passed on. Katlegom follows family planning to Sioux State. The family of Kat Legomfolo, whose charred remains were found in Tobo Bester's cell when he faked his death at the Mongaang Correctional Center says they are planning to sue the state. It has been confirmed that the body belonged to Kat Legomfolo from Bloemfontein who went missing in 2022 after a DNA match with his mother. A body brought into the prison was burned beyond recognition. Initially, authorities believed Bester had set himself alight. However, an autopsy revealed that the individual died from blunt force trauma and was already dead before the fire. Load shedding back to stage 6, here's the updated schedule. Eskom said stage 6 load shedding will be implemented on Monday afternoon. Here is your updated schedule. The power utility said due to the failure of seven generation units in the last 24 hours, higher stages of load shedding will be required over the next few days. These load shedding stages may change at short notice. Eskom will publish a further update as soon as any significant changes occur. Eskom optimistic load shedding won't go beyond stage 6 this winter. Despite energy experts and analysts foretelling that load shedding will reach unprecedented levels this winter, power utility Eskom remains optimistic and said it does not expect power cuts to go beyond stage 6 when the cold sets in. According to SABC News, Eskom's Group Executive for Distribution, Mon Bola, said the generation team is working to bring additional capacity online to reduce the stage of load shedding. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp, 060-011-021-1. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.